Truck Capelli with a couple of big plays, none bigger than the stop right there in his own goal line. Chance out in front, shoot scores! John McFarland gets in behind the defense. One nothing Saginaw. Well, it's the give and go play for the former Sudbury Wolf, and John McFarland has found himself to be able to light the lamp while here in Saginaw, that is his sixth goal in a spirit uniform, his 10th point in just his 15th game. And it was a simple enough give and go, we'll see from the camera here on the corner angle. There is McFarland going for the front of the net. The peak defender did not take him coming back, and he was able to get it by. It has mostly been money in the bank this season for Saginaw. Sherratt tipped out in front, rebounds there, shoots and scores. Second goal of the night by John McFarlane. Right place at the right time on that one. That has been John McFarlane's career, Scott, where he has found himself in front of the net for the majority of his OHL goals, and it doesn't change tonight. His second goal tonight, as you see, 13th of the season combined between time in Sudbury and Saginaw, and that gives him 11 points now in just 15 games for Saginaw. But there you see it once again. The Peterborough Peak defender just a step too late to turn around and take that match. Backhander out of the zone. It's the veteran, Siska, out in front for Kia. Couldn't get it in front, shoot scores! A uh, last second chance, and Josh Shalla, Johnny on the spot with a rebound, jammed it in. Siska will get one assist, Kia the other. And the native of Whitby, Josh Shalla, is able to increase his overall team point lead to 52 now. That is his 35th goal of the season. And notice a pattern here. All three goals for the Saginaw Spirit tonight in this first period, Scott, have been scored right in the blue paint. First two by John McFarland, and that one by Josh Shalla following up, getting the loose puck. For John McFarland, is he's already had it two goals, and there's Wallach, and he can't, he can't finishing him early, puts him down. Wallach still tried to wrestle on his way down with he can't, but Luke he can't. And Brad Walt, this had been going for a while. They were at each other right before the period and right before the end of the period, and they finished it off before. And this all emanates from the last scoring opportunity by the Peaks right beside the Spirit Net. And off the ensuing faceoff, you take a look at the other side of center ice from the end zone camera. And Walsh gets tagged with one, and down he goes on his derriere. The linesmen are very quick to be able to get in there. And I'm missing it. That's what we were talking about before. The Peets have been getting chances, but not hitting the net when they have them. Eklund, wrist shot, hit the man in the mask, Bouncer scores! Off of Galanski's mask and over his shoulder. Lucky bounce there, and the Peets get the power play goal, now trailing three to one. You take them any way you can get them, Scott, for sure, and Austin Watson and the Peets will take that one to narrow the gap to just two. And on a night so far, ironically, where all 15 shots to this point were stopped in stellar fashion by Galatsky, he has no defense whatsoever for one that goes off the coconut and rolls over the goal line. And here's a two-on-one shaping up for one of them. Anthony Camera out in front, shoots and scores on the pass. And it's going to be a four-to-one game. Ivan Telligan shooting and scoring on the two-on-one. Telligan scoring his 10th of the season, and that has to be an absolute breaker at this point for the Peterborough Peets. It was Trecapelli going down, trying to get the glove and the stick in front of that. But Camara able to get it across ice through Trecapelli on the stick of Telegan, who is able to put that home. Out for the kick save. Schwartz, cross to Shalla, wrist shot scores! Josh Shalla on the power play. Makes it five to one, another insurance marker for the Spirit. Big save made by Andrew D'Agostini as he came way, way out on top of the blue ice to cut down that angle. Big rebound given up, though, and that afforded the Spirit to be able to keep this deep inside of the Peterborough territory. 
And a cross ice tic tac pass. Josh Shella gets himself his third point on this evening. Shella's second goal down. Pete's faithful looking for a couple of penalty calls here and there. Sherratt now stepping in. Sherratt still holding on to the puck. Got a shot off scores. Ben Sherratt steps in from the line. And despite going through a couple of poke checks, another power play goal, back to back power play goals for the Spirit. And it's these power play goals that have made what was a very, very entertaining and respectable 4 1 game for the Saginaw Spirit now into a 6 1 game that has two minutes and 34 seconds left in it for all intents and purposes. As Sherrod on the power play able to move in from the blue line 